Heyo guys, what is up? Gaming Horizon here, back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys a quick and easy tutorial on how to install and actually put mods into your game and use them in game. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So first up, what you're going to want to do is search up Forge Download. So this is basically the client for Minecraft which you're going to use to put your mods into Minecraft and actually be able to use those mods in game. So if you're basically, if you're using mods that are in version 1.18.1, you'll probably want to download the latest one. But if you basically just have Minecraft for other versions, I mean, if you have like mods for other versions, you can basically just select any one of these versions. It goes all the way to version 1.1. So you can basically just use a Forge version, which is suitable for your Minecraft mod that you are installing. And now, if you basically have your Minecraft version and Forge, like your Minecraft Forge version all set, you basically just want to click on Installer. And for video purposes today, I'm going to use 1.18.1 since that's the latest and the best. So you'll just be directed to this. You just have to wait for this and then you can press skip. And now it downloads here. But I'm not going to wait for it to download, guys since I've already downloaded and it's right here. So once you've had the download and it finished downloading, just move it any way you want. I'm just gonna move it onto my desktop so it's easier for you guys to see. And if your file doesn't look like mine, you guys probably don't have Java. And I'm assuming that you guys do have Java since Java is essential for Minecraft Java edition. But if you don't have Java, you can just search up java download in your preferred browser i'm not going to show you guys how since you just have to follow the prompts and stuff and if you do have java but your file doesn't look like this you can just go here open with java so that's what you guys are wanting to do just open it with java and it'll bring you here to the mod system installer you basically just want to like Leave it on the default since it's on install client, which is what you want to do. You want to install the client and you just press OK. But I'm not going to press OK since I already installed it beforehand. And after that, you just want to open Minecraft, guys. Just like that. I have the old launcher since the new one doesn't work for me. But I'm fine with the old one. It's basically just almost the same as the new one. So you just have to wait Minecraft to load. And as you guys can see, I have Forge right here, Forge version 1.18.1 and that's what your guys are going to see as well. And now you just have to download the mod. The mod I'm going to be downloading is the Security Craft mod since that is one of my favorite mods in Minecraft guys. It's like really really cool how it adds a bunch of stuff and Security Craft actually does have a 1.18.1 even though here it says 1.17.1. You just have to go to recent files, download it. You don't have to download the security craft mod. You just have to download a mod which is a forge and it has to be like the version of forge that you download. So for example, I downloaded 1.18.1. So my mod has to be 1.18.1 forge. So if you guys want to download any other mod, you guys just search it up on here, whatever mod you want to download and you just download it. Just like how I downloaded my mod. Now, once you've downloaded your mod, you can close that. And I'm assuming you still have Minecraft open. And then after you've done that, you basically go to installations. And then you hover over Forge. And then you go here. You basically want to click this folder icon. And once you've clicked the folder icon, it'll bring you to the Minecraft directory. This is the holy grail of everything, guys. It literally is, like, I'm not even joking. It's literally just the holy grail of Minecraft. You can literally put maps. You can also put mods and stuff, guys, which is absolutely insane. So this is really, really good, guys. So now I'm just going to close Minecraft because something didn't update properly. I just have to wait for this to load guys and um 
the one thing that I realized is that if you guys basically um don't see a mods folder in your Minecraft directory, that means you basically haven't properly installed Forge. Because to properly install Forge, you basically just have to go here, Forge, and click play. Just like that. And it'll install Forge. It usually takes not that long, as you guys can see. Only like a bit of time. And after you've installed it like that, you basically can just close it like straight away. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to wait for it. And I'm going to close it. And also, if you guys haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon. Like, just click it, guys, so you don't miss another video. And just like this video if you haven't already. And basically, by liking this video, you guys are going to, like, direct this content to more people that actually need help with Minecraft. So you're basically helping me and helping other people. And now, once you've um, run it and click play, you basically just straight away just want to close it since now everything is properly installed. Open Minecraft back up, guys. And now, after you've opened Minecraft back up, just wait for this to load. And after you've done that, you go into installations, click the folder icon, just like that. And as you guys can see, it added a bunch of stuff. It added the mods folder. Wow. Mods folder, guys. This is the folder which we're going to use right now. So after you've gotten the mods folder, you basically just want to right click on your task manager and go to downloads or wherever your mod got downloaded. And you can drag and drop or copy and paste or whatever. But drag and drop is easy like that now once you have the mod in your mods folder you can close everything up and go back into minecraft and just click play and once we're in the game you're actually going to see the difference so we just have to wait for the instance of minecraft to load and we'll be all set basically so you guys can just click off the video right now since that's the tutorial or you guys can stay and actually see that it actually works guys so up to you if you guys want to stay then you guys can stay if you guys want to click off the video since that's the end of the tutorial you guys can but i recommend staying since you guys can actually see that it works so if it doesn't work on your guys's end you guys can't blame me like you guys must have probably downloaded something wrong so now as you guys can see it's actually really different like down here it says forge and it has a mods thing and if your mod actually did load correctly you can click on your mod and you can basically just see all of your mods here so basically that's how you know it loaded up properly and now you guys can go here and just name it whatever i'm just gonna name it security craft mod and I'm going to go into creative and just create a world. That's all you guys have to do. You guys don't even have to create a special world. You guys can even just go on a world that you created before. But it has to be on the same version of Forge that you're in. And you'll still be able to load mods in. You guys don't even need to make the world when you're in Forge. That's the good thing about mods. That it works on literally any world. But it just has to be the same version. Now, as you guys can see, it actually says security craft, blah, blah, blah. And now, boom. Look at all of these mods, guys. Look at all of these new things. I actually did a security craft mod before, guys. But um, that was a long time ago when I wasn't really that good at YouTube. And when I was still pretty bad, I didn't really have a good mic. So comment down below. In the comment section if you guys want to see a remake of that create um what's it called security craft mod so comment down below since that security craft mod actually got a ton of views so it's comment down below if you want a better remake and i'll do like a more detailed mod review guys and i actually also already did 
um, a video like this. It got a bunch of views, but this is basically like a remake since that video got taken down for some reason, guys. But I hope this video doesn't, and I hope this video helped you guys a lot because this is the end of the video. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to watch this video. Well, you guys already did watch this video. I'm not sure why I said that. Make sure to like this video and share this video to a bunch of your friends so you, they can also know how to put mods into Minecraft. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.